Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. On today's episode, I'll be showing you a recap of the best clips and photos of March and April 2023. And this customer came in for an oil change and new tires. The mechanic said they couldn't lift up the car on a hoist as it was too low and had this custom body kit. Customer states they have an oil leak after they changed the oil. After the technician found the oil leak, he found out from the customer that they used pliers to tighten the oil filter. This customer's truck now needs a new transmission, as they had the transmission cooler lines pop off. Instead of fixing the transmission cooler lines, they just threaded some fittings into the transmission and kept driving. And the owner of this vehicle had just installed a new battery, but it's too tall for the battery compartment. So both negative and positive battery posts were constantly in contact with the metal cover that goes on top. Customer states when pressing home screen on HUN unit of steering wheel, it goes to the temperature settings. The technician found this pine cone that rests against the touchscreen, which is enough of an input to go to the climate settings. He removed the pine cone and fixed the issue. Customer states interior cargo and dome lights don't work. Uh, let's try to press that. Oh, there we go. The owner of this vehicle came in as they wanted to see if the shop could fix their trailing arm on their SUV as they already tried fixing it themselves with spray foam. The shop advised the customer their vehicle was not safe to drive as all the tires were bald and the vehicle was falling apart due to rust. This customer came in as they have a fuel leak and also mentioned to the shop they just recently installed a new exhaust themselves. The customer had installed the exhaust so close to the fuel tank that it melted a hole through the fuel tank. Customer states he replaced the front brake calipers and has no pedal. The technician found brake fluid leaking from the banjo bolt and that the customer had installed new brake pads on very rusted rotors. The customer was given a quote but declined repairs as he said his commute to work is only 5 miles so he should be fine. Customer states their center console display goes out and it's been off for the past 10 days. And this customer came in as they still have a power steering leak after they installed a new line. Weirdly enough, the new line they just installed only leaks under load. Customer states they have a vibration at highway speeds. Crazy. A month ago I had a flat. Really? And I took it to the shop on the south side. They, they, left, just, they left the tools I said, in there. Man, those guys look, look stoned. I mean. And this customer came in as they said they had another shop who work on their brakes, but they still don't work. The technician found that somebody had wrapped this leak in brake line with electrical tape. This customer came in as their brakes don't work after they installed new brake lines. The technician said the customer even bought the pre-bent lines, but he said he had no clue where they went. And this customer came in as her brakes don't work and the pedal goes to the floor. The technician found that this vehicle had a rubber hose that was used for the brake lines and was told by the customer that they just recently purchased the vehicle as well. This customer had their SUV overheat on them while they were on the highway and they continued to drive until they reached their destination. The shop told the customer they most likely did damage to the engine so the customer ended up getting their vehicle towed away. <laughs> And this customer came in as her vehicle has trouble starting after the customer installed a new fuel pump. The technician said when the customer cut a spot underneath the seat to access the fuel pump, they cut a fuel line in the process and never installed the o-ring for the fuel pump and instead just put silicone on the top to try and seal it. Another shop refused to work on this vehicle so the customer came to this shop. Fortunately for the technician, it just needed a new battery and alternator. When this Ford Fiesta came in for a transmission concern, the technician noticed these bugs inside of this customer's car. So he rolled the windows up, then noticed this huge spider that was also in this car. And this customer came in as they said they can hear a noise after they resecured their skid plate that was fallen off. The customer had resecured the skid plate to the exhaust and front drive shaft. When this vehicle only came in for an oil change, the technician had the wheel come off in the parking lot. This customer came in as he said his front tires have unusual wear and he wants his ball joints inspected. The customer also mentioned another shop apparently told him to remove their front CV axles as that was the issue. The technician was surprised their front wheels did not fall off as the CV axles holds the bearings together.
And this customer came in to get a new fuel pump installed after they tried installing a new one themselves but could not figure it out. When the customer drilled holes into the floor to cut an access hole, they also drilled through the top of the fuel tank. The technician said this car sounded like the intro to a Van Halen song. Customer states their vehicle runs rough ever since their boyfriend installed new intake gaskets. When her boyfriend tried to install new gaskets, he never removed the old ones and put silicone and new gaskets on the intake and bolted it down. This customer's F450 was stolen and the thief who stole it drove it until the wheel and hub fell off and kept driving. They drove for so long that it also ground through the bottom of the front differential. The differential. <laughs> And this customer only came in to get a complimentary inspection and a new key programmed. Upon inspection, the technician found that the customer had ran over a street sign, which was still stuck underneath the car. And this customer came in as she said her boyfriend tried to fix a brake squeak, but they're still making noise. The technician also noticed that he tried to grease the bleeder screw as well. Customer states, ever since they replaced the heater hose, their CDs will not eject. The technician fixed the issue and said he's happy that he did not have to take this for a test drive. And this customer came in as they said their engine runs rough ever since another shop installed new spark plugs. Whoever worked on the truck broke a spark plug in the cylinder head and decided to drill and tap a new hole for the spark plug. This customer brought in their Lamborghini because their radio does not work after they apparently had their neighbor install it. The customer said he had his neighbor install it as it was a cheaper option than having a stereo shop perform the work. And this Lamborghini was towed in as it would not start after the customer changed the oil themselves. This is after the shop drained 28 liters of oil out of the engine and added the correct amount which is about 10 liters. Customer states they hear a weird noise from the front of their vehicle while driving. The technician found that somebody zip tied a harmonica to the grill. Customer states check engine light is on and vehicle falls onto its face under throttle. The technician found these air fresheners in the air filter box and the cotton candy tree was sucked into the mass airflow sensor. The owner of this vehicle just purchased this SUV six weeks ago and got it towed to this shop as it does not start. The technician said he's never seen anything like this and is unsure what caused this jello-like substance in the engine. The customer did not want it further diagnosed once the shop discovered this and had the vehicle towed away. <laughs> and this truck was brought in as the customer says they have a leak from the washer fluid reservoir. The customer recently installed these LED rock lights and mounted one right underneath the reservoir. Customer states her father fixed her exhaust, but now she can smell fuel while driving. This vehicle was brought in as the customer says they have a squeaking and creaking noise from their suspension, which the customer tried using Vaseline to get rid of the noise. The technician found the noise to be caused by both upper and lower ball joints. And this customer came in as they tried to fix some wires for the high voltage system in the electric car, but they are still having issues. The technician fixed the wires correctly and found that the vehicle needed new high voltage batteries as well. A customer had their truck towed in as they said they have a ton of electrical issues after goats got into his truck. 2015 Duramax we got here. This vehicle was brought in as the owner said they just installed these rain guards, but still get wet when they open the door and they want it fixed under warranty. This customer just purchased this vehicle and brought it in as they said their brake pedal feels very soft. When performing a brake inspection, the technician noticed it had disc brakes on one side and drum brakes on the other. The customer declined repairs at this time. Customer states they have an oil leak after another shop installed a new engine. The technician thinks that whoever installed the engine installed one from a two-wheel drive model, which has a different size of oil pan, so the person who installed the engine smashed the oil pan to make it fit. When this vehicle came in for an oil change, the technician noticed all of these cracks in the wheel. The customer did not have the correct size of spare tire to install, and only one of their oil changed. Customer states radio screen has went blank. For some reason, this customer had used tan colored Plasti Dip everywhere on the interior of their brand new 2022 Ford Escape. The viewer who shared this said he's the one in charge of cleaning this and found that the customer even used Plasti Dip on the weather stripping. The customer also ended up trading this in for a vehicle with a tan interior. 
a customer decided to tow his Jeep to the shop using the strap as it needed a new battery. In doing so, the customer now needs a new grill, radiator, fan, and radiator support. So Fred Flintstone just dropped off his Sierra. I thought that the, you know, floor mat might get in the way, you know, hamper acceleration, but I mean, the guy probably knows more about it than I do. Washer fluid reservoir. Take a little air, put it in this here transmission hose. The customer said her husband found a hose sitting in the engine bay and figured it went to the transmission vent. The hose ended up being for the washer pump and he had attached it directly to the vent on the transmission. The customer drove for long enough like this that it ended up damaging the transmission and needed to be replaced. So every time they rent to wash their fluid or wash their windshield, they pumped washer fluid into the transmission. Customer states their steering is very stiff. The customer had just installed a new sway bar but installed it incorrectly as the tie rod ends are supposed to be underneath the sway bar. This vehicle was towed in as it won't start, which the technician found the engine to be seized. The customer mentioned to the shop that they never changed the oil since new, and the vehicle now has 78,000 miles on it. The technician said this customer's vehicle also had a full maintenance package included in their lease, and the technician included this photo, which you can still see the factory marking on the original oil filter. Customer states their truck has a lack of power ever since they replaced their air filter. The technician found a pair of boxer briefs stuck in the intake tube. A few days prior, this customer failed a safety inspection as they needed new brakes. The customer declined repairs and said they will do it themselves. They are now back to get their vehicle reinspected, which the mechanic found that they never replaced the brakes and had mounted the brake calipers using wood screws. And this customer came in as they said they can hear a rattling noise while driving. The technician actually found the issue, but had a good laugh as these metals made quite the noise. Customer states, check engine light is on. The customer had just installed this warm air intake and left a mass airflow sensor laying on top of the engine. This customer brought on their vehicle as they have a rattling noise from the driver's door. The technician removed the store panel and found all of these sugar-coated almonds behind the door panel. Customer states they have a small oil leak. The only oil leak the technician could find was from the oil filter, which had JB Weld on it to try and stop a leak. And this customer brought in their vehicle for a state safety inspection, but failed it as they had cut their frame to install a new oil pan. This vehicle did not come in to get new ball joints installed, but now it will have them replaced. Oh, yeah. no, just fell off. Oh. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already. And you can submit clips that you filmed on our website at justrolledinyt.com. Thanks for watching.